So tonight we had a gorgeous sunset and I set up the Red Cap 51 on the AVX mount with the Soul Nebula as my target. That's a, another really large nebula right next to the heart. Um, so I was really excited to go after a great, great target for the Red Cat. And this is a look at the guiding that I was able to achieve, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, well under one. I set up for a few nights. I was able to collect about 15 hours of data, just over 15 hours. And uh, yeah, just a really good signal coming through. Uh, I was really looking forward to, to processing. This is with the L-Pro filter. So it's a uh, one shot color, the ZWO ASI 533MC camera, the Red Cat 51 on the AVX mount. And uh, yeah, the, I was really, really happy with uh, the signal that was coming in, the guiding. Everything was working well throughout the nights. And here's a look at the image. I, I was really happy with the colors that I was able to uh, maintain within the stars and the nebula itself and just the details that, that came through. Uh, again, this is pretty close to natural color just with the L-Pro filter. Didn't really do much uh, color changing in, in Photoshop, but uh, gorgeous, gorgeous looking nebula. I was really happy with the way this one came out. The Sol Nebula is about 6,500 light years from Earth, and it's very large. The, the full moon, you know, as it appears in the sky, can fit a few times into the Sol Nebula, just to give an idea of how, how massive this target is in the night sky. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, uh, please consider giving a like and a thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more of my astronomy work, uh, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and clear skies, everyone.